All right, everyone, we're back in Vegas to see another residency, and this time we stayed at the Planet Hollywood right on the Strip. It's May of 2024, and we're going to take you around and show you Planet Hollywood. We're going to take you through the casino, show you what's on the floor, take you through check-in, and of course, show you the room and give you a review. So let's get into it. So while visiting Vegas to see Mariah Carey's residency, we were staying at the Planet Hollywood, which is located pretty much directly in the center of the Strip. It's right next to the Paris, and the Miracle Mile shops are also part of the Planet Hollywood. Of all the times we've been to Vegas, we've never stayed at the Planet Hollywood, so I was excited to try it this time. It's also right across from the Cosmopolitan and the Bellagio and down the street from the Aria. Now this entrance right here is actually the entrance to the main casino floor right off the strip on Las Vegas Boulevard. So when you enter here, you're going to go right into the casino. To get to the lobby where you check in, that's actually going to be below the casino floor and you're going to enter here when you get dropped off by an Uber or taxi. If you enter from the main casino floor and you need to get to the lobby, there is an escalator that brings you down here. Now this was a Tuesday at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, so there really wasn't any line to check in. Uh, there are 8 kiosks that are express check-in, check-out kiosks, and if you ever stayed anywhere in Vegas and used them, you know how easy those can be. There are a few other important things in this lobby area. Right across from the registration and check-in is a store called PH24. It's a 24-hour store. It's a little convenience store, basically, where you can get everything from snacks, drinks, souvenirs even. You name it, they got it. So if you're coming in late or early in the morning and you need a drink, snack, bottle of water before you get to the room, this is your pit stop. Now this is the door that you're going to use when you need to pick up an Uber or taxi or you're getting dropped off by an Uber or taxi. This door is directly across from the hotel registration and check-in. For you fans of Starbucks, note there's a Starbucks coffee right down here in the lobby across from check-in and you can also access the north elevators here as well. Now before we head up to the casino floor and show you around, let's go check out the room. All right, I was staying on the 32nd floor, room 3288 specifically, and let me tell you right now, I was pleased and surprised by the state of the room. You know, I wasn't sure what to expect, especially with some of these more budget-friendly hotels in Vegas, but I was pleased. They had a really great setup. As you can see, the bathroom is really nice. I know they just did renovations as of 2017, and you can tell everything is pretty new and modern. There's a full tub and shower, a separate water closet. It's not a double vanity sink, uh, but you know, it's definitely spacious enough for two people to use. Now, as you can see, we had the room with double beds and they were pretty comfy. Pillows were comfy. Um, honestly, one of the more comfortable beds I've actually slept in in the Vegas hotels. They had a charging port for your phone. They had lots of outlets in different places. And the view was actually pretty nice as well. Uh, when we woke up in the morning, the sun coming up over those mountains out there was really nice to see. You can see the Hilton Grand Vacation Club, not really anything else but a view, but you know, you're not staring at a parking garage either. The room didn't have a closet, but it had this very large armoire that basically was a closet. It had a full length mirror that you could use when you're getting ready. And it had all the amenities of a closet, the ironing board, the luggage case, the safe, the hangers, the iron, all of it. This is just your standard dresser that kind of doubles as a desk. They had a mini fridge in the room as well. Some wear and tear here, as you can see on the unit, but um, as to be expected in a Las Vegas hotel. All in all, paying $95 a night for this room. That's before the resort fees and the taxes, but I was actually pleasantly surprised and pleased. And honestly, I would stay at the Planet Hollywood again. Now that we've checked out the room and you've heard all about it, let's go back to the casino floor and see what they've got. All right, this is the escalator from the lobby to the casino floor, and this escalator is in between the hotel check-in and the Starbucks and North elevators. 
Now these signs are all over the casino floor that lead you into the direction of either food, an exit, or something else you might be looking for in the casino. That's the escalators we just came up from, so if you need to get back to the hotel lobby, you go right down those. Again, these signs are everywhere. They were so helpful and really got us to where we needed to go. In the Planet Hollywood, they have a Gordon Ramsay burger. We've never eaten at this particular Gordon Ramsay spot, but we've eaten at others, and they've been delicious. We've eaten at the pub inside Caesars, Hell's Kitchen, and the fish and chips kind of quick stop place. Uh, they have a actual sandwich called the Idiot Sandwich. So if you know Gordon Ramsay, you know the whole Idiot Sandwich meme. If not, look it up. Uh, but they actually have a sandwich called the Idiot Sandwich, and it looked really cute. Here's some of the menu. Here's some shots of the restaurant. Definitely has a line when it opens every time I've passed it. This is the extra lounge right next to the Gordon Ramsay burger, but it's really just a walk-up bar. Now, if you're here to see one of the shows, like one of the concert residencies, Chris Angel show, or you want to use the fitness center or the spa, this set of escalators taking up to the second floor will get you where you need to go. One of the dining options inside of Planet Hollywood is called Cafe Hollywood. It's just a regular, normal, American-style restaurant with sandwiches, burgers, wings, stuff like that. They have pictures of celebrities all over the walls, and I believe they have some things on the menu named after certain celebrities. This is the second Starbucks location within Planet Hollywood, the first one being on the main lobby that I showed you. This one's on the main casino floor right next to Cafe Hollywood. Now the casino floor is pretty much one big circle and the center of that circle is the glass bar. This is their new center bar that they just redone. It's actually really beautiful. It actually looks like they're trying to mimic or complement the chandelier bar at the Cosmopolitan. If you've ever been there, that's absolutely beautiful. But the light reflects off all of the glass and it looks really, really pretty. Now they call this a bar, but it's actually kind of a lounge area. It's, some of it's kind of private and closed off. They have a really great cocktail menu. We tried the Casino Carnival, which was absolute wild berry vodka, La Marca Prosecco, passion fruit puree, simple syrup, and lime juice. And it came with a side of cotton candy on the glass and the drink tasted different before and after the cotton candy. So if you're in the Planet Hollywood, stop in for a cocktail and check it out. Now, as I mentioned earlier in this video, the Miracle Mile shops are part of Planet Hollywood. So there is an entrance and exit right in the casino that you can go right into the Miracle Mile shops. And then this is the view from the Miracle Mile shops going into the Planet Hollywood casino. There are a variety of shops, eateries, and bars within the Miracle Mile shop, so definitely check it out. One cool experience we tried the last time we were here in October is called the Tipsy Robot. It's basically a robot that makes cocktails, so check it out. We actually have a video on it in our library under some of the unique things to do in Vegas, so check out that video. I will say for not being a very large property, the Planet Hollywood actually has quite a bit of options inside their main casino floor. Here's another quick grab option, Earl of Sandwich. If you've ever had their sandwiches, you know they're delicious. They serve breakfast sandwiches too. So this was really clutch to go down in the morning, grab a quick breakfast sandwich before you get started with your day. Here's another bar within the Planet Hollywood. It's a sports theme bar called the Ringer Bar.
This is another dining option, Yolo's Mexican Grill, classic Mexican cuisine, tacos, fajitas, stuff like that. You can grab a margarita to wash it down with. Another dining option in the Planet Hollywood is P.F. Chang's, and they also have a P.F. Chang's to go. So if you don't feel like waiting around, you want to grab the food, go back to your room, mow down, you can certainly do so. Next to P.F. Chang's is another exit to get you to Las Vegas Boulevard, and near that exit is a Davidoff of Geneva Cigar Kiosk, so if you're walking around, playing some games, you want to grab a cigar, this is the best place to do so. All right, everyone, that was our time in Vegas. It was a quick 48 hours, but it was a good one at that. Now, while Planet Hollywood wasn't our favorite place we've stayed in Vegas, it's definitely a place we would stay again. It's got a great location, basically right in the center of the strip. The atmosphere inside is awesome, and the rooms were clean and updated. We'd give this experience an 8 out of 10. If you've ever stayed at Planet Hollywood or thinking about staying there, definitely let us know in the comments. And if you like this video, please share, give us a thumbs up, or even subscribe. It really helps our channel grow. Till next time, we can dig it.